Good evening, Ghanaians. In the budget statement presented to Parliament on November 24th, I announced the government will undertake a debt operation program. The broad contours of the debt sustainability analysis has been concluded, and I'm here this evening to provide some details on Ghana's domestic debt exchange, which will be launched tomorrow. A standard debt restructuring parameters will be presented in due course. Under the domestic exchange program, domestic bondholders will be asked to exchange their instruments for new ones. Existing domestic bonds as of 1st December 2022 will be exchanged for a set of four new bonds maturing in 2027, 2029, 2032, and 2037. The annual coupon on all these new bonds will be set at 0% in 2023, 5% in 2024, and 10% from 2025 until maturity. Coupon payments will be semi-annual. Our commitment to Ghanaians and the investor community in line with negotiations with the IMF is to restore macroeconomic stability in the shortest possible time and enable investors to realize the benefits of this debt exchange. The government of Ghana has been working hard to minimize the impact of the domestic debt exchange on investors holding government bonds, particularly small investors, individuals, and other vulnerable groups. In line with this, Treasury bills are completely exempted and all holders will be paid the full value of their investments on maturity. There will be no haircut on the principle of bonds. Individual holders of bonds will also not be affected. The government recognizes that our financial institutions hold a substantial proportion of these bonds. As such, the potential impact of this exchange on the financial sector has been assessed by their respective regulators. Working together, these regulators have put in place appropriate measures and safeguards to minimize the potential impact on the financial sector and to ensure that financial stability is preserved. Specifically, the Bank of Ghana, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the National Insurance Commission, and the National Pensions Regulatory Authority would ensure that the impact of the debt operation on your financial institution is minimized using all regulatory tools available to them. Secondly, a financial stability fund is being established by government with the help of development partners to provide liquidity support to banks, pension funds, insurance companies, fund managers, and collective investment schemes to ensure that they are able to meet their obligations to their clients as they fall due. These are difficult times, and we count on the support of all Ghanaians and the investor community to make this exercise successful. We are confident that these measures will contribute to restoring macroeconomic stability. With your understanding and support and that of the entire investor community, we shall overcome our current difficulties and with the help of God, put our economy back on the path of renewed and robust growth. As 1 Samuel 30, 19 says, nothing was missing, small or great. I say to you, nothing will be lost, nothing will be missing, and nothing will be broken. We will together recover all. Thank you, and God bless our homeland, Ghana.